Hey everyone, Eman here with RemoraLight.com. In this video, we're going to look at the Ticker Chart tab. Now this is really interesting. We can select a ticker and some preliminary information and get a graphical representation. At the top, it says Prints versus Close. Hit Control y for options. So let's go ahead and do that. So this form that opens, we can enter a ticker and then the prints that we want to summarize and the number of days back that we want to go to populate the chart. In this case, I'm going to look at SPY for the last 30 days and choose Run for all prints. This actually shows us in the table to the left the date, the print level, the close, the number of shares and the number of trades that make up that volume. If the cells below are white or clear, that means that it's the same date, just for visual representation. The same goes for the close column. And we can see here on May 27th, there were 3 million shares traded at 405.34 for 11 trades. And this print level is green because the print level is below the close. That means it's technically a bullish sign. We can see here that there was a million at 415.26 and a smaller one, 100,000. The ones that are highlighted in green are ones that are above average in the result. Let's go ahead and change it. So we're going to go look at 400,000 or higher and let's go back a little further to 60 days. We'll choose run. Here we see that the data has changed and we've gone back to March 30th all the way through to the end of May. And we can see the larger print sizes and their volumes here on the chart. The yellow line is the actual market close. A green dot actually indicates that the print was below the close and it's technically bullish. A red dot indicates that the print is above the close, which is technically bearish. The green bars at the bottom indicate the volume of shares traded on that day. We can see here that this day there was quite a lot of volume, 15 million. Let's switch this back to all prints. Let's pick another one. Let's do the XLF and we'll go back 60 days. We can see here that it looks like there was lots of selling on the XLF all the way down. Now we have lots of little green dots here making up prints, potentially pushing the stock price up. And we see massive volume here on some of these days and we're above these levels. Looking at these results here, I might be bullish above this level, above 36. But you would have to look at your own chart and make your own trading plan. The second half of this form includes watch lists and recent prints. So if you have any watch lists, like here I have something for swing setups, I can just double click on one. Here we can see all prints on the IWM back 60 days and it looks like potentially there's a reversal in price due to the number of prints that are there. Let's look at Boeing. Here we can see there was 300,000 at 118.74 and the close is at 119.40. The recent prints column here references your selection from the recent prints tab. It reminds you that the recent prints were updated, this is May 25th, at 7.22 a.m. In order to make sure that this list is relevant, we should make sure that our recent prints are updated by clicking on it, hitting Control Y, and running our selection. If you haven't seen the recent prints video, please do so. Moving back to the ch ticker chart tab, any of these I can just double click and the chart will update. This is really helpful if you're a visual person and prefers to see the data in this sort of way. I hope you find this video useful. In the next video, we're going to look at the print pivots tab. See you over there.